Hi, I'm Andrew Tran, a data reporter for The Washington Post. On the Rapid Response investigative team, I sift through a lot of data. In the right hands, that data can be used as a powerful tool for understanding and even sometimes hold the key to the story. To get that data in a usable form, a programming language called R has become a huge part of my workflow. R was made specifically for statistical analysis and researchers have been using it for decades. Since then, it's evolved into this community in which people have created tools and packages that make data analysis more intuitive and even fun. But journalists have been picking it up, realizing that it's pretty versatile and easy to use. And most importantly, R has helped data journalism flourish in newsrooms, letting reporters explore and surface important information faster than ever before. In this free course, R for Data Journalism, offered through the Knight Center at the University of Texas, I'd like to show you how to use R in your reporting process. We'll look at how to use R to analyze data, create visualizations like charts and maps, and how to publish your methodology in a reproducible manner. Back when I was shifting gears into data journalism, I took a lot of online courses like this. I know it's a big time investment, but I came out of those classes being able to deal with data comprehensively, whether for a story on my own or to help widen the impact and scope of my team's investigative stories. And I'd like to pass on what I've learned to you. Are you ready? If so, sign up for the SMOOC and I'll see you around.